gut wrenching to hear all of those details. Gil, thank you. So as those phone calls flooded dispatch, LMPD firefighters and EMS crews all rushed, as you know, to Old National Bank. WDRB's Conroy Deluge takes us through the response of those who jumped into action Monday morning. Conroy. This fire station on East Jefferson is just three blocks away from the scene of the shooting, a place that no one wanted to witness that morning. But the teams here were ready and they stood alongside LMPD as officers focused on the shooter. I think I got him down. I think he's down. Within seconds of the final shots, a message from dispatch. Shooter has been um, Eliminated and fire and EMS crews ran in alongside LMPD officers. They didn't know whether it was truly safe for them to go in or not, and they did it anyway. What we do is we provide combat casualty care, uh, and those officers are providing protection for us. So Their job to find the victims. Center of the building, first floor bathroom, a female shot in the leg. To stop the bleeding, keep the patient alive, <laughs> and off to the hospital. We have bandages uh, with anticoagulants, so stuff that you would see in a war zone. And that's what stepping into a scene of carnage can resemble. A gunman wielding an AR-15 that killed five co-workers. It was the aftermath it is seeing the shock of the people that were inside, um, the emotions that you saw. Um, it was hectic. After checking in with his crews, EMS Chief Jesse Yarborough helped as the command center was set up at Slugger Field. You don't know how many people are hurt. Um, what you're going to see when you get there, um, how many resources are going to be needed. Yarbrough and Fire Major Bobby Cooper said the communication between the departments and the training prepared them for a quick and effective response. We're not only the fire department, but the police department and EMS are progressive emergency uh, agencies that tr pr try to provide the best care that we possibly can. A scene they never want to witness. For us, it was a matter of going to work at that time. But they will always respond to. The fire department and EMS has included more combat training in the past decade. And that's because Cooper says that just hoping a situation like Monday, a mass shooting, that luxury of hoping it won't happen here was one they could not afford. Right. We are so thankful for all of that training that they have. Conroy, our thanks to you.